5,000 years of history, more like 65. So this is a video about why you should come to China. And this could be for a holiday and it could also just be, you know, if you wanted to change, if you wanted to go and work somewhere else, live somewhere else. I'm going to give you the reasons why I think China is a good place to travel to or even move to. So why on earth would you want to come to China on a holiday? Well, a good couple of reasons. Number one is, of course, adventure. Be prepared to experience, you know, something completely out of the ordinary. China has been cut off for so long historically that it still remains largely cut off. Of course, if you go to Beijing, Shanghai, places like that, it's not as much of an adventure, but pretty much anywhere else, you're going to be stared at like you're some kind of alien who's just landed their UFO and stepped out. <laughs> First of all, you're going to be in a completely different culture. There's going to be a completely different language, which you cannot understand. So if you're into adventure, I mean, as in being sort of thrown in the deep end and uh, trying to figure your way around, China is a good place for that. Secondly, of course, food. China is, well, what can I say about Chinese food? It's one of the most diverse and amazing cuisines on the planet. There's a hell of a lot of weird stuff which is not going to agree with you. There's also a hell of a lot of amazing stuff that is going to agree with you. And, well, it's fairly easy to figure that out as you go along. But I'm planning on making a series, or I should say reviving a series of what's foreigner friendly here in China. If you're a young sort of a backpacker or somebody who's just traveling, another thing that's amazing about China is cheap beer. <laughs> and I mean very cheap beer and it's very available. Also the very relaxed sort of laws around drinking. I can walk into any convenience store, buy myself a beer, open it right there, ask them to open it for me if it's in a bottle, and just walk down the street drinking. No one's going to stop me, no one's going to say a word. No one's even going to think that it's out of the ordinary. And it's kind of relaxed and it's very freeing. There's also a very free, open, young sort of a vibe when you come to big cities like Shenzhen. There's a lot of nightlife, you know, fantastic state-of-the-art clubs, things you've probably never seen before, very opulent, very high-tech, and very interesting. What you should not expect if you're here on holiday is to see sort of ancient culture, temples and 5,000 years of history. Because unfortunately, although there are remnants of this, I mean, you can go to the Great Wall, for instance, you can go to several temples that have been more or less rebuilt, some of them half-heartedly preserved. You're not going to see that sort of ancient culture, which I guess a lot of people overseas expect from China. And that's pretty much because it was wiped out. And that's what you're going to see when you get here. Is you're going to see China is a very young, very modern, and very upcoming country. So all those romantic ideas of sort of Kung Fu temples and monks, <laughs> forget about it. They don't really exist. So what about living here? Let's talk about that. Why would you want to come live or work here? I mean. I'm talking about maybe for a short-term gap year or perhaps long-term. Well, number one, if you're tired of the political climate in your country, if, you know, you don't like what's happening around you, here is a great place to escape to because you're going to have no understanding <laughs> of the local politics and the local culture. And on top of that, you're going to have absolutely no say in the local politics and the local culture. So you can live in a sort of oblivious little bubble and uh, get on with it and enjoy your life without even thinking about politics or being able to participate in politics in any way, shape or form. Probably one of the most attractive things about coming to China is of course being able to save money and make money. Because the cost of living in China is in, in fact incredibly low. Depends on your lifestyle of course, but if you live like a local and you just sort of eat local food, so this means not going out for fancy Western meals and things. You just go to the, the average restaurant and you live in an average apartment. You can save 50, 60% of your salary every month 
as say for instance an English teacher and just put that in the bank. China is a fantastic place to save money and uh, in general people are very against credit so you don't get this situation like in the West where you know you're being handed credit cards at every second shop you try to purchase something from. So you will find yourself very quickly living debt free which is fantastic and if nothing else living here for a short time will teach you these good habits of living debt free. The next thing is of course hard and fast progress. You want to see new systems implemented, new technologies, you want to see skyscrapers going up around you, you want to see things constantly on the rise. It's a good place to be right now. Of course it probably won't always be like this but for now anyway China is constantly on the up and up and because they play loose and fast with the regulations here you will see all sorts of things happening around you like the fact that I can pretty much buy anything and pay for anything with my phone and uh, this is something that still hasn't caught on in the West it's been pioneered here in China more or less and everyone from the most rich sort of upmarket person all the way down to street sweepers use their smartphones to go and sort of buy anything they like and pay for anything they like yeah. uh, no thank you or if you would like a dodgy massage like I've just been offered over there you know you can come here for that too <laughs> of course another reason to come here especially if you're a young man is all the wonderful lovely attractive women that you'll see all around you same goes if you're a young woman you'll find that Chinese men will be very interested in you and this is because you're something exotic and something different so this will play in your favor and it is in fact very easy to get into a relationship here but of course there are pitfalls don't forget to check out my our Chinese girls easy video <laughs> just so you know what you're dealing with before you jump in head first China is still a place brimming with opportunity so if you come here maybe just to do a gap year or something like that you will have no problem finding work of course most of it will be something along the lines of English teaching some sort of training maybe some modeling maybe acting in a TV show but being a foreigner here still affords you a lot of opportunities that you won't find back home the next reason is of course you know the hospitable people now a lot of it is fake a lot of it is basically they'll be nice and friendly to you because they get something out of it because you know it's really interesting for them to get to meet a foreigner or perhaps they will invite you to their table so they can get some face or show off etc but the fact remains that people will in general be very open friendly and generous towards you as a foreigner in China so to wrap this up China is still a fantastic place to have an adventure whether you're coming here for a holiday or whether you're coming here to stay it's definitely worth giving a look but beware there are lots of pitfalls however I cover those in all my other videos so anyway guys next video is going to be about all the scams that you get here in China at least some of them because there are a lot so if you are planning to come here like I said on that holiday or if you're planning to come work and live here better stay tuned for that one it should be landing Friday so thank you for watching thank you as always for the support all the best to you and yours Hello. and until next time as always oh no thank you no thank you um, and yes you if you want to get a dodgy massage it's, like I said it's really easy anyway <laughs> until next time guys as always you know the drill stay awesome hello <laughs> hi <laughs> Hello, I'm Tyler and I'm from California, the United States. And the reason I came to China is watching uh, Serpent Zede's uh, YouTube channel. And it's helped me a lot because it made me realize what China has to offer. And I feel like people should go to China and explore and find out for themselves what uh, Serpent Zede is showing in his YouTube channel. And everything that he has shown has come true so far for me personally. And he's shown me the real China, how it really is, because I've seen like movies about China and they, they show it as like traditional and old fashioned, but when you come here, you can actually see like there's futuristic stuff and there's like 
old fashioned and it mixed together and that he shows that in the videos. And stay awesome. <laughs>